Periscope fam, what's up? DJ Wado checking in here. I host the Wado Radio Show. If this is your first time on Periscope, welcome, welcome, welcome. You show love by double tapping the screen. Uh, that will allow you to put hearts on the screen. And that's how you tell a Periscoper that you enjoy what they are saying. We are forgiven. What's up, crazy one? What's up? Thank you for joining, brother. Q him. Thank you for inviting followers. Uh, DJ Redeem, what's up, my brother? Thank you for joining. Chosen Boy, thank you for inviting followers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm really excited about tonight's topic. Uh, we're talking about radio. We're talking about why your hit single is not on the radio. Um, some of you, J-Rob, what's up, man? How you doing? Why y'all got to come in here with this Alabama Roll Tide in here, man? Why y'all got to come in here with this? His and her money, what's up? I appreciate y'all. Love y'all's podcast. Thank you. Um, why y'all got to come in here hating on Ohio State with this road tide, man? See? Kingdom Mixtapes, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, again, um, my name is DJ Wade O. Bonafide is in the building. Oh, my goodness. I know I got to do a good job now. One of my bosses is in here. Bonafide, what's up, man? Jay Monty, what's up, brother? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Man, I'm excited about this topic because um, I want to give y'all a little background in terms of where this came from and why I decided to do this. Uh, last, I think it was last week, I got a tweet from an artist, from a female artist, and uh, she was like, she added me and a bunch of other media outlets and she was just like, yo, why y'all didn't post my music up yet? And I was like, dang, like I could feel the frustration through Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, man, this sister is frustrated. And um, I actually inboxed her. I never, never talked to her before. Obviously, I had seen her around social media. I inboxed her and had a conversation with her. And I said, you know what, man? Sometimes people just don't have an understanding of how these processes work. Um, whether it's the blogosphere, whether it's radio or whatever, the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. And I definitely think when it comes to the business of music, there's a lot of people that are functioning in this sphere, but they don't necessarily have a firm foundation to understand the business. Jonathan Baker, what's up, brother? Thank you for joining, man. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit tonight just about why... I'm not playing your hit single on my radio show. And um, Jesus Beats, what's up, man? Another one of my bosses in here, man. Man, I'm going to have to really, really, really make sure I step this up tonight. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people in here, man. Um, but again, I wanted to title this because, I, again, I just think it's a conversation that needs to be had. And I just want to be honest with people. You know what I'm saying? Because there's certain things that... I know I specifically look for, um, again, you got people like Crazy One in here, Jesus Beats in here, Bonafide Radio, all these people have significant followings, and we all look for stuff. Some of the stuff we look for is similar. Now, there's some intricacies between different radio shows, because we all have a different sound or whatever, radio stations, all that stuff, but at the core of it, at the core of this, there's a lot of things in common that we look for. Man, Justin Forsett is in here. Brother, I, they say I wouldn't play his game for free game ticks. Hey, hook me up with them game ticks, though. <laughs> let me find out Justin Forsett got bars. You know what I'm saying? So let me start with the first one. And I feel like this is foundational, okay? This is foundational. Fresh fire. What's up? Uh, this is foundational, though. Number one, if your production, your mixing, or your mastering are bad i'm not playing your record on the radio okay if your production your mixing or your mastering is bad i am not playing your record on the radio okay and the reason for this is simple one your music needs to sound professional two a lot of people whose music I'm playing now. People have stepped their game up in this Christian rap scene, man. Y'all heard this new Andy Minio album? Production is phenomenal. Same with this Jay Givens. Phenomenal. So here's the thing. 
if I play your record next to their record, that's going to reflect poorly on you. People going to look at this and say, yo, my G, uh, your record sounds horrible. John Gibbs, yeah, somebody put that there. So the reality of the situation is you have to be on par with what everyone else is doing in the industry. Now, I saw someone put down that, yo, everybody can't afford good production, good mixing, good mastering. Well, then that means you're not ready to have your song on the radio if you're not able to invest in that or find someone that can invest in that for you. Cartier, what's up? Um, that's important. Like, sometimes I think artists feel like I got to release a whole album just because that's the thing to do. And so you might invest all this money in recording an album. So you're buying beats. So let's say on the low end, you spend fifteen hundred, two grand buying beats. Here's the reality. Don't tell me you don't have money for mixing and mastering. Maybe what you need to do is just invest that money into one song and push that. And if you want an example of an artist that has done that and has done well for themselves, Transparent. He has released a series of singles and has created a buzz for him. This dude wound up being featured on a Tadashi album based off of his one single because he put so much into it. Quote, what's up, brother? He put so much into one way. Then after one way, he followed that up straight like that. After that, work. Now he's got a new record, 180. He just keeps putting out singles. And when I had him on my show, I asked him, I said, yo, my man, why say it? Why, why you haven't put an album out yet? He said, yo, the demand isn't there yet. I'm doing well off these singles. I tried to put albums out in the past, and I got more accomplished putting this single out than I have with just this album. Okay? Taylor Gray, another example. He just released the album, but he put out a series of singles, and it worked for him. So here's what I'm saying to you. It's not just having a professional sound. It's not just having good production. I know many people think, yo, man, I can just record at my crib now. You can record at your crib, but it will sound like you recorded at your crib. Uncle Reese is another great example. Until I pass out, he had that mug rocking for over a year before he put the album out and was touring all over the country off of that one record. You know what I'm saying? So save your money. Record in a professional studio. Get great production. Okay. Pay for that mix and master. It's important. Okay? And here's another thing. Here's another thing. Your radio single, the ideal time is between 3 minutes to 3 minutes and 30 seconds. 4 minutes is like tops. 5 minutes, I'm probably not considering it or I'm going to edit it down and chop it up if I really love the song. Okay? It's super, 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 super important that you understand that. Because the truth of the matter is, a five-minute song may not hold people's attention. You got to be phenomenal for me to rock with you for five minutes. And as a DJ, I even think when I'm DJing at events, I usually don't play a record unless it's just a smash record. For more than two verses and two hooks, I make it to your uh, to your bridge. Then I'm going into something else. And the same thing works on the radio. Three minutes to 3.30 is ideal. Four minutes is like, I mean, man. So you got to get it there. So just a recap. Number one, production, mixing and mastering have to be on point. If those three things are bad, one of the three. One of the three, there's a very, 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 very good chance I'm not playing your record. Unless you are a super established artist and there's tremendous buzz around your song, which we will get to. Second point, songwriting is bad. So it's one thing to have great production, good mixing and mastering. But then if the lyrics to your song are not up to par... Don't have a biblical message. Remember, I'm the it's more than music, it's ministry guy. I need that biblical message in there somewhere. Okay? So what's up, brother? I need that biblical message in there somewhere. Some people just let you whatever. They'll let you talk about whatever. 
I'm not that guy. I need the biblical message in there. I do ministry here. Okay? If your songwriting is not good, it's not up to par, it's not current, your songwriting can't sound like you got an 80s record. Okay? I don't want you sounding like KRS-One in 2015. I don't want you sounding like Rakim in 2015. Okay? I don't want you sounding like those people. It's a dated sound. Okay? Most of my listeners may not have even been alive when those people was popping. They don't even know who those people are. Okay? Those are legends. Don't get me wrong. They're legends. But it's 2015. Not 1985. Not 1995. It's 2015. And we're getting... Yeah, see, I can't, can't do that sound of the police. Can't do that. Woo, woo. It's the sound of the police. Can't do that. It's 2015, okay? See, you was five in 1995. See, you don't want music sounding like that. Okay? So, um, you want to have good songwriting. And here's another thing with, with, with songwriting. Because it's not just the words... It's also vocal production as well, okay? So you want to make sure, too, that there is a, a melody to your song. Now, part of that's production, but some of that is vocal production. People should be able to sing along to your record, and that's important. People want to turn into tune into the radio and hear songs that they can sing along to. That's what they want, even in Christian rap. People want to be able to sing along to the record, okay? If you turn on your favorite mainstream radio station, okay? You turn on your favorite mainstream radio station, you hear a lot of songs with Melody. Melody is important. Oh, Just Jay said good stuff. See, y'all need to call her. Call Jay. Call Jay if you want some Melody on your record because she is phenomenal at that. She has a, a crazy resume with that. Y'all get it, Just Jay, if y'all need that, okay? But being able to sing along to the record is super important. Particularly, women love to sing along. Kids love to sing along. Teenagers love to sing along. Even guys. Guys be trying to front like you don't, but you do. We all love to. You love singing along with a record, okay? So your song needs to have some melody. And again, that's, that's part of your production, but that's also a part of songwriting. You have people in this industry... That are vocal producers. Okay, they will arrange melodies for you. People like Molly Music, Kristen Gray, Chris Belmont at Jaw Rock, and these people arrange melody and song. You need that, even for the greatest of singers. Some of the biggest singers, gospel, CCM, mainstream, pop, R&B, they have vocal producers that help them with these things, okay? So number one, Production, mixing, mastering, if that's bad, not playing your record. Songwriting is bad, not playing your record. Number three, you have no buzz. You got to have some momentum around your song. Now listen, DJs, we break records. I love to break records. But at the same time, it helps tremendously if you already got some momentum going beforehand. It helps tremendously if you have a music video out for your song. That's a great, great, great promotional tour. Someone says, how can we get a buzz if you give us, if you give us a chance? Build your fan base online. Build your Twitter following. Promote your music to, 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 your, to, your, to your family and friends initially. There's tons of, like, I'm not, I shouldn't be the only way that you feel like you can promote your music. Okay? I shouldn't. It's just the reality of the situation. It's 2015. You got the whole internet, bro. The whole internet. You got your local city. You got your local church. Are you popping there? Pop in your city first before you talk about, yo, let me get my record on the radio. Pop in your city first. Do all the youth groups in your city first. Get your city behind you. Before you do that, you have buzz in your city. Okay, so keep building on that. I'm looking at your name. I'll be honest. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I've never heard of you. That doesn't mean you're not doing your thing, but just keep going. Someone said start a gospel rap beef. Don't do that. 
That's a, <laughs> that's a quick way to get people not messing with you at all. Don't start a gospel rap beef. Don't do that. But seriously, promote yourself. Promote yourself. Get a buzz going. One of the things, like I said, you can do, have a music video for your song. And when you premiere that music video, make that as big of an event as you can make it. Okay? Do a trailer for your video. Put that on Instagram. Get your friends sharing it. You know, one of the things that you can do as an artist, you have all these tools. Do a, do a, do a, do a series of periscopes connecting directly with your fans. And get your core fans to help you promote that single. So it's not just you. The day your joint is going to go up on whatever websites, the Rapzillas, the Jam the Hypes, the WaitoRadio.coms, the Bonafide Radios, the C1 Radio, whatever it is. Get all your fans going to those sites, liking your joint, commenting on your joint. It could be the same 10 people going to everybody's site, but it looks big. And that's what you want. The other thing, someone just put this, Jesus Beats, I had this in my notes. You want to make connections with people that run these websites, run these radio shows, run these, run these media platforms. Make personal connections with them. Okay? It helps tremendously if people know your story. They could put a name to a face. Go to places like Flavor Fest. Go to Legacy Conference. Go to South by Southwest. Meet these people. That's a part of promotions. Build with people. If there's a big youth leader training in your city, that's a perfect event to go and meet people. Okay? Someone said they don't like it when they see a friend commenting on friend songs. Everybody does it, though. Everybody does it. That's part of it. I feel you. It, it looks weird, but... The reality is if you like a song and it's a genuine like, they'll do it. People are not just going to comment on your song, typically a real friend, if they don't like it. Okay? So you want to make sure you do that. So number one, production mixing mastering is bad. Number two, your songwriting is bad. Number three, you have no buzz. Number four, I've been waiting to talk about this. Number four. You sound like a secular artist knockoff, okay? Now, I know this whole Young Thug, Future, Fetty Wap, the sound is huge right now. The, you know what I'm talking about. It sound like you're talking out the side of your mouth. Or you sound just like Drake. Okay? Listen, man. As a new artist, that's a quick, very quick way for you to get a bad reputation. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of established artists are doing this, right? I understand that. A lot of these guys have years and years and years of ministry. They have years and years and years of building a buzz, of touring, you know, all of that stuff, right? So sometimes, I'll be honest with you, it's unfair. The rules may be different for them. But as a new artist, you only get one shot to make a first impression. And if your first impression is, man, you sound just like Migos. Or man, you sound just like Kanye West. Or, man, you dress just like da-da-da-da-da. Your whole look is a ripoff of Kendrick Lamar. That can be real tough to overcome for a new artist. So I just want to encourage you, man, like, not even being overly spiritual about this, but God is giving you a gift. He's giving you a talent. It's cool to be inspired by people. But when you're just literally copying off of someone... You're literally just stealing their style. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I don't want to say it's unbiblical, but you're kind of disrespecting what God has given you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's given you the potential for so much more. And the book of Proverbs actually says that your gift will make room for you. 
It doesn't say your gift will make room for you if you copy off of Drake or if you copy off of Migos or if you copy off of Future or if you copy off of Fetty Wap or if you copy off of whoever's hot at the time. It just says your particular gift as it is, as God has given it to you, will make room for you. So you shouldn't feel like you have to do exactly what the world says. Um, and plus, man, let's be honest, man, it's corny. Like I see, <laughs> I don't want to say this, man. I I I I don't want to say this, <laughs> but even doing like secular remakes is corny. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's corny. Like just like doing a whole album of secular remakes. Like oh yo, this song is on the radio. This is hot right now. Okay, I'm gonna just copy this Usher song. I'm gonna copy this Miguel song. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this. Uh, future song you know what i'm saying it's like yo my g like we just we just gonna do that like same melody same beat same everything like it, it, it's just like listen man i love the lord and i do this to do ministry but man i i respect the art i respect the craft like i respect this thing we call hip-hop culture even though i'm a christian like i respect it and a lot of times, man, we like we disrespect the culture when we just blatantly copy off of somebody. Like I said, it's, it's one thing to uh, to pay homage to somebody. It's one thing to be inspired. Like I'm inspired by a lot of people. I'm inspired by some people that's in this room right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm inspired by these people, but I'm not going to copy off of someone and just do it blatantly, man. You know, and, and, and this is another thing. Um, you have to watch. You you have to watch what you what your intake is of just content in general. Jonathan Baker, thank you for inviting people. Thank you. You have to watch how much you like. I think some artists, they they listen to a particular artist so much that they don't even know they're copying them because all they do is just. They listen to this one particular artist. It's almost like it's become a, uh, uh, like an idol to an extent, and they just, yo, you you don't even know it. So somebody asks you in an interview, yo, you sound like da 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 da, nah, but that's all you listen to. It's gonna come out. Yo, Greasy Gress said, Ghostface said, get your own. I don't want nobody sounding like me on no album. He did say that on the Purple Tape. You know what I'm saying? So. I just want to say, man, like, and even, like, here's the thing, not even just a secular knockoff, like, don't even be a Christian rap knockoff of another Christian rapper. Like, don't go out here and say, yo, well, I'm, I'm going to sound just like Lecrae. You know, Lecrae made this, this was popping, so I'm going to just, I'm going to just do this. Andy did this, I'm going to just do what Andy did. Or, yo, Tadashi did this, I'm going to just do what Tadashi did. Social Club did this, I'm going to just, yo, I'm going to just, yo, Marty for president, yo, my next album, Wade O for president. Come on, man. Come on. Be you. Chase the King just said that. Be you. Be you. Do you. Your gift will make room for you. Okay? Your gift will make room for you. So recap. Number one, your production, mixing, and mastering is bad. Not playing your record on my radio show. Songwriting is bad. I'm not playing your record on my radio show. You have no buzz. I'm not playing your record on my radio show. You sound like a secular artist or a Christian rap knockoff. I'm not playing your record on my radio show. Number five. Number five, I was waiting for this one too. Number five, you don't follow instructions on how to submit your music to my radio show. I have a website, waitoradio.com. It is in the bio link on all my social media sites. I'm saying this for a reason. If you tweet me or you come on my Instagram and leave a comment under one of my pictures or you come on my Periscope and you say, wait, oh, can you please check out? Da -da 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 not only am I not going to check it out, I am probably going to reply and say something snarky to you. And I will probably remember who you are and not want to hear your music ever again in my life. Okay? 
please, 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 please. I'm a Christian, I know. And I don't even know if that was in the flesh what I just said right there. It might be. Pray for me if you think it is. But listen. The Bible talks about doing things decently and in order. We have an entire submission page for a reason. That reason is we want it to be crystal clear how to get music to us. Okay? And who is this? Dan Shores just said, you got to be professional. Okay? You got to be professional. There's just a certain way you go about doing things. Don't spam everybody on your, especially if I'm not even following you, man. Don't spam everybody that you follow at DJ Wado. Hey, check out my new single. It's the greatest song ever. At Crazy One, hey, it's the greatest song ever. At DJ Jesus Beats, hey, it's the greatest song ever. At Bonafide Radio, hey, it's the greatest song ever. At Track Stars, it's the greatest song ever. At Jam the Hype, it's the greatest song ever. At Rapzilla, it's the greatest song ever. No, it's not. If it was, we would have heard it by now. No, that's not the way you do it. No, 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 no. It's not the way you do it. If you know somebody that's doing that, and they're not in here, pull them aside. Pull them aside and say, fam, my G, this is not how you do it. But I'm going to give you something even better. Because this is what really professional artists do. They hire a promoter to promote their music for them. This promoter has relationships with radio stations, with blogs, with people of influence in the industry that you may not have, okay? Some of y'all know Chris Chicago as the host of Jam the Hype. Chris Chicago is one of the best radio promoters in the game. He does reach records radio promotion in the CCM industry. So when you hear about Lecrae single charting in the CCM industry, Chris Chicago has a big hand in that. Okay, Josh from Sphere of Hip Hop is probably my favorite radio promoter. This dude is mad organized. He sends you what you need. He is responsive. And from what I hear, his prices are reasonable. Holla at that man. Okay, holla at that man. Brother Haas, what's up, bro? Thank you for coming in here. Listen, 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 listen. Get a radio promoter. It'll help you out. I was, I, was, uh, I was with one of my friends last week that's an artist. I shouldn't say he's a friend, but it's a dude I've known for a while. And I felt bad because he just dropped the album and I didn't know. And I was like, dang. Man, like, you said Josh who? At uh, Sphere of Hip Hop. That's his Twitter, Sphere of Hip Hop. Just hit him up there. Or SphereofHipHop.com, Sphere of Hip Hop PR. Um, Cartier, she was in here earlier. She does public relations. She is another good one. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. And crazy one, you misspelled it because that ain't how you spell it. <laughs> but yes, Josh Minsky. But he's very professional. Um, but one of my friends, man, this, this is a guy I've known for a while. I didn't know he had his album out. And I was like, man, this guy needs a radio promoter. This guy needs a, a, a PR person to help him with this. Because here's the reality. If you're an independent artist and you're, you're unsigned, there's a very strong chance you probably have a day job. You're, you're probably not doing this full time. So as a result, you need some people on your team to help you out. I'll probably do another Periscope at some point about building your team. I did this. I did a, a presentation at Legacy Conference a couple years ago, but I'm going to do a Periscope on this real soon. But one of the people you want to have on your team is you want to have someone who can help promote your records. It's important. You know, now there's people that play a lot of different roles. So there's uh, there's PR people, there's radio promoters, there's people that are kind of a hybrid. You want to figure out what's, what's best for you based on what your needs are, what your goals are. But you need someone like that because this is the reality of the situation. 
You can't even cover all this ground that you need to yourself. But you call someone like Josh. You call someone like Cartier. You call someone like Chris Chicago. They literally have hundreds of contacts. They can put you in. They can put your music in the hands of hundreds of influential people. People that have radio shows, podcasts, blogs, uh, radio stations. That's what you need. You need that in your life. That will help you significantly. Because there's nothing worse than as an artist, you work so hard. You grind. You put out some incredible music and nobody knows about it. I saw a quote the other day. A guy was like, yo, a lot of independent artists say, yo, man, people sleeping on me. And the reality is they not really sleeping on you. It's that you're sleeping on the business part of your career. OK, you're sleeping on the business part of your career. Making the music is important. But promoting your music and getting it promoted, getting it in front of people, getting it in the hands of people is just as important. OK. So you got to be able to promote your music. Now, here's the thing I hear a lot of indie artists say, man, I don't got the money for all that. Well, yo, man, if you don't got the money for all of that, again, again, it may not be time for you to do what it is you're trying to do. Because these things cost money, and there's a reason why certain people are successful at this and certain people aren't. So, again, I want to recap. And just so we're clear, I put all these things in a certain order for a specific reason. Because they need to be done in this order. First, your production, your mixing and mastering. If it's bad, I'm not playing it on my radio show. Again, if you just joined us, you just came in, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't get everything. If your production, your mixing, your mastering is bad, I'm not playing it. Your sound should be professional. Go to a real studio to record it. Get a real engineer to mix it. Preferably get another real engineer to master it, okay? And your song should be between 3 minutes and 3.30 in length. Yes, quality is definitely number one. Number two, if your songwriting is bad, your song isn't catchy, your sound isn't current, there's no melody, it's not easy for people to sing along, there's a very good shot your record's not getting played on my radio show. Number three, you have no buzz. Do you have a music video for your song? Have you been touring? Have you had some big performances in front of people? Okay? To promote your single. Have you gone to some industry events? Met people? Are people talking about you? Is there an anticipation towards you? Are you in the conversation in the community? Okay? Number three, no buzz. Thank you for those of you typing this. Number four, you sound like a knockoff of somebody else. Whether it's a secular artist or a Christian artist. You sound like somebody else and you haven't developed your own sound. That's a very, very easy way for me to not play you on the radio show. All right, so thank you for sharing this. Thank you. If you sound like a copycat, if you sound like a uh someone said john takes if if you sound like a knockoff if you sound like someone else that also tells me right you're not comfortable with your own sound yet you, you you're not sure who you who you should be as an artist you're not comfortable with that yet and that's important okay and finally if you're not following instructions for how to submit your music, or if the person promoting you doesn't follow those instructions, there's a good chance I'm not going to hear your music, okay? I'm not going to hear it, and therefore, it's not going to get played, okay? So there's probably several others that we could go to. Um, I mentioned this. I, I can't stress this enough. Um, I also look for a certain message in your song. You don't necessarily have to say Jesus, but I need to know this content is Christian. I need to know 
yo, Christians will be encouraged by this song. Okay? And that's not just your song, the rest of your album. I don't want to promote a song by an artist who then drops the album and there's nothing Christian about it. And it's unfortunate that we have to say these things in 2015, but that's where we are right now. Even among so-called Christian artists or rappers that are Christian. Okay? So those are my five reasons why I may not be playing your record on my radio show. Um, I want to open this up five or ten minutes Q&A. If there's something that maybe I didn't clarify, I know there's been a lot of comments, so I haven't been able to um, necessarily read all of them, because sometimes when I read them, I lose my train of thought. Um, you miss four and five highs. Number four, you sound like a secular artist knockoff, or you sound like a Christian artist knockoff. Highs, you ain't got to worry about that, number four, bro. Like, you are super unique, and I think that's a big part of what makes you dope. Number five, you don't follow instructions for how to submit your music. Now, let me give you, and, and please, someone type this in the comments. Please type what I'm about to say in the comments. To submit music to me, it's wadeoradio.com forward slash submit dash music. wadeoradio.com forward slash submit dash music. wadeoradio.com. There we go. Chosen Boy just typed it in here. WadeOradio.com forward slash submit dash music. Okay? That is how that we have a whole submission situation. Everything we're looking for is there. WadeOradio.com forward slash submit dash music. There was a lot of other radio people in here tonight. I saw Art Soul Radio. Those are good people. They air our show. Someone said too much cowboy. No, cowbell number six. Art Soul Radio was in here. Bonafide Radio was in here. Crazy One was in here. DJ Jesus Beats from uh, Hot 316 was in here. Listen, all these people have their own submission processes, and it's clear on their websites, okay? You want to research that. Understand what these stations play. Understand the types of records they play. Listen for them. But this is another reason why a radio promoter is important, because the radio promoter knows what people are looking for. Josh knows what I'm looking for. He knows what Crazy One's looking for. He knows what Art Soul is looking for. Like, these people know. That's their job. Okay? That is their job. I do host mixtapes. Hit me up. Booking at WadeOradio.com. Booking at WadeOradio.com. There you go. ArtSoulRadio.com. Okay? Any, any other questions? C1RadioShow.com. Any other questions? Any other questions about this? Why are some people against Christian hip hop? Uh, that's a tough question because it depends on who you're talking about. Are we talking about other Christians? Are we talking about artists that don't want to be called Christian rap artists? Um, I think for a lot of people, I, if we're honest, I think a lot of baby boomers. So when I'm saying baby boomers, I'm talking about people that are 55 and up. They didn't grow up on hip hop. They missed hip hop. When they were teens um, and stuff like that, they was listening to R&B and soul music and funk and stuff like that. And when hip hop started, it was like, yo, what is this? This isn't real music. And so many of them have never been able to catch up. But one thing I will say is this. For a lot of baby boomers, if you take the beat away and show them the lyrics, particularly of a really Christ-centered Christian rap song, they can't front on that. They may say, hey, this music isn't for me, but yo, I respect what this artist is doing. I respect what they're doing, okay? Yeah, show them that Shaolin. They can't front on Sha. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother doesn't really care for my music. That's all right. She cares for you. Give them Bizzle. Bizzle's another great one, okay? Man, no problem, man. Crazy one, thank you for joining. Any other questions? Any other thoughts? Any other comments? I got something real special right before we close for every artist in here. I got something real special, okay? Time limit for your record, 3 minutes to 3.30. That is ideal, 3 minutes to 3.30. Do y'all respond to everything? 
Like, thank you, but no thank you. We can't. It's tough. We get so many submissions that we, 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 we really can't do that. But what we do do is every single artist that we play on the show, we notify you. So you will be notified if we play your music because you'll get an email from us with the playlist. Four minutes is like, four minutes is kind of long. I'm not going to say I, I definitively went and play a song that's four minutes, but that's really too long. If you can cut that down, cool. I mean, if it's like a massive song, hey, sometimes you can't deny a hit record. There's several hit records that I played that were longer than 330, but I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I wouldn't chance that, okay? Do you suggest people you know go through the submission process? Um, it wouldn't hurt. You know, if we got a personal relationship and you already got a buzz going, there's a good chance I'm checking for you anyway. But we check the submissions every day. So, you know, that's always a good place. Ian Garner, you got a song. Come on, man. You writing books and you rapping now, brother? <laughs> Do you fade it out or we cut it? It would be better if you personally um, created the song to be 330. Because if I cut it, it may not be the way you want it. Maybe you shorten a verse. Maybe you take a verse out, whatever. The last 30 is the beat. You should just get it just get it mixed so it naturally fades out right there. 30 seconds of the beat rolling, that's probably too long anyway. And here's the thing. I should have said this before, but it's okay to have a radio version of your song as well as an album version of your song. There you go. Someone said just make a radio edit. It's okay to do that. Most artists do do that. So your regular song may be 4 minutes and 25 seconds. But the radio version may be 3 minutes and 17 seconds. Okay? Who could we hire that can help us create a radio edit? A professional engineer, which is who should be mixing and mastering your music, should be able to do that for you. Yeah, if you got to do a clean and a dirty version as a Christian artist, <laughs> we got issues. <laughs> if you got to have a clean and a dirty, we got some issues. Okay? Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Instrumental acapella inclusion. That helps us tremendously as DJs. I love remixing songs. I love uh, mashups. Um, even your instrumental as an instrumental bed. As we talk, as I transition to another song, helps tremendously. And I have that in the submission process on our website. WaitOnRadio.com slash submit dash music. We have that. So absolutely, please. Shoot us an acapella. Braille tweeted that he had some downtime to mix. Y'all better invest. Yes. Braille is really dope on the mixing. I was skeptical because usually artists can't mix well, but Braille, Braille can mix. You know what I'm saying? Braille can definitely mix. Do you attend concerts to do coverage for a tour? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we have tour recaps we post on the site. I think the last one we did was the Poets and Autumn Tour um, down in Florida, in Orlando. Um... We got one coming up for uh, for John Gibbs. No, we did one for John Gibbs tour. We got one coming up for Andy as well. So we absolutely do do that. Absolutely. Uh, any other questions? Oh, Marco. Yes. Holla at Marco. Marco's a good radio promoter too. Name drop a few dope engineers. Uh, Wit's pretty good. Wes Pendleton's good. Chris Belmont at Jai Rockin' is really good. Braille is really good. Those are four off the bat that I think are real solid and um, prices are pretty reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Um, are there certain social topics that are taboo for you to play on your show? Nah, not really. As long as you keep it clean. I, I think as long as you keep it clean and as long as it's from a biblical perspective, I can't think of anything that would be taboo. Now, the way you say it, may be a little too much like for instance john gives love his new album he has a song on his album uh called the artist storytelling that that's probably a little too much for me to play on the air because it's graphic in the context of his album it works you know what i'm saying it works because the next song is don't want to be a player you know what i'm saying so it it, it works but 
from our radio show, that's probably a little too much. Who can you count on cons consistently in CHH? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think, like, you could say, I think you could say Reach. I mean, they've been super consistent over the years. Um, I think Collision Records and their brief existence. I think Derek Minor. Like, I was, I hosted Derek Minor's very first mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he's been super consistent. I think Esso uh, from Lentmo, super consistent. I think Humble Beast has been super consistent. Um, typically, man, like, people that just, that just have longevity, man, like, you can count on them to do what it is they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, what they're going to do. Um, now, I know, obviously, Reach is kind of going in different directions from maybe where they started and how they go about doing their business. But, man, when you're just talking about their music and their passion, I think that's still, they, they've still been consistent with that. Their music is top notch. So, that would be my answer there. Listen, I have a conference call I have to hop on at 9 o'clock and I need to do a little bit of preparation. How does the mixtape hosting process work? Email me booking at waitoradio.com. We can talk about that in depth. But I want to give y'all this this uh, this uh, this 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 offer, this opportunity for indie artists, okay? Indie artists, indie record labels. Um, this is only for people that was on this Periscope. So don't share this with people. It's only for people that was on this particular Periscope, okay? If you have a project you're getting ready to release. And you 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 want to advertise on my radio show? You want to advertise on WaitOnRadio.com? I have a special offer for you, but it's only for people on this Periscope. So please don't share this. Don't share this part with people that went on the Periscope. Okay? Don't share this part. I don't mind you sharing the Periscope, but don't say, "Oh, yo, go email Wado and tell him you was on the Periscope." Nah, they need to hear this. This is what I'm offering you. You buy one ad package, I give you another one for free of equal or lesser value. So if you want an eight-week package, I'll give you another one that you can leave at another time. Okay? You can use it at another time. Or you can combine them, go back to back. It's only for people that's on here, and you have to pay for it this week. Okay? It ends Friday. So hit me up tonight. Advertise at waitoradio.com. I will answer you. Advertise at WadeOradio.com. Advertise at WadeOradio.com. I'll give you an eight-week promo package. You'll get 16 weeks. Advertise at WadeOradio.com. If you're a DJ and you want to promote, holla at me. Send me an email there. Advertise at WadeOradio.com. Again, don't tell this to people that weren't on this Periscope, okay? This is just for y'all. Y'all were serious about your career. You invested this time into your career. I want to invest something back into you. I want to give you something, okay? I say you don't have no buzz. Let me help you get some buzz. Advertise at WadeOradio.com. Email me tonight. Buy one package. I'll give you a second one for free, okay? I thank y'all so much. I really appreciate y'all for joining this Periscope. I am going to record this, put it on YouTube. All right? So if you missed this, you just joined a little bit late, you can catch the replay on here. I'm starting to uh, put my Periscopes on YouTube as well so that they live forever. But I'm only giving you till this Friday. This Friday. Email me tonight, though. Email me tonight. I want to lock you in. Advertise at WadeOradio.com. I know about catch. I don't really like catch, though. Because they make you look funny when you're in the portrait like this. D-Will, what's up, man? What's popping, brother? They make you look funny when you're in the portrait. So I throw them on YouTube. How do you do that Periscope to YouTube? If you have an iPhone and you have a Mac computer, you plug your iPhone into the computer, and you can record the whole thing in QuickTime. So it'll keep the hearts. It'll keep your comments, uh, and it looks great. And then, obviously, everybody uses YouTube. Everybody's got the YouTube app. YouTube is the second most used search engine in the world. 
So this is a perfect place to save content like that. Put it on YouTube. Once again, advertise at weightoradio.com. Buy one ad package. I give you a second one free. You got to pay for it by this Friday. Hit me up tonight. Okay? Hit me tonight. I want to lock you in. Hit me tonight. All right? Thank you all for joining. Again, if you want to submit music, it works for DJs, bro. Advertise. Then cut the periscope out. <laughs> if you want to um, submit music, weightoradio.com forward slash submit dash music. Thank you all again for joining. And I will.